Two seasons ago, the American Semi-Pro Men's Basketball Association in the Northeast region was dominated by the Wyoming Valley Clutch, a perfect 20-0 record. Some of those same stars, like Chris Shovlin, a 2,000-point scorer at GAR, Dave Januzzi, the Wilkes Hoops legend, and Holy Redeemer's Peter Alexis have returned for 2022 after the 2021 schedule was totally wiped out due to COVID-19. You know, obviously it takes a toll on what we're trying to do. Um, we actually had to cancel the entire season last year, um, took a whole year off. Um, we kind of worked our way back into it this year, um, got the guys together. You know, we kind of sat down and with Coach and, and Dave and myself and, and discussed if we were able to even go forward this year with, you know, the whole pandemic going on. You know, last season we stepped on the court, you know, we finished 20-0, number one in the country. Um, out of like 160 teams, so um, it was very tough, you know, to, to have that, you know, the end of the season postponed. Uh, we were already, you know, into the Elite Eight and uh, looking forward to trying to win the national championship. Um, but with COVID hitting, it kind of put us, uh, put everything with the professional side on the back burner, put, put everybody in general on the back burner. Well, head coach Jerry Rickroad and player Dave Januzzi have been around the game of basketball now for a very long time. Jerry is still the all-time wins leader at Wilkes, and Dave is still the all-time scoring leader there. Some are calling these two the Brady and Belichick of the ABA. I, I would not be able to get out on a basketball court and run up and down like they do, but, you know, Dave is, I don't think they'd mind me telling you their age, but Dave at 44 years old, basically, that was his number at Wilkes. Um, he still gets out there and laces it up with the guys between 22 and 29 and does pretty well. The clutch returned to the court this Saturday at the Wilkesbury CYC versus the Harlem Underdogs. Tip is set for 7 p.m. Steve Lloyd, Newswatch 16 Sports, Luzerne County.